So John Vokey and Don Reed wanted to find out exactly what people could do with backwards messages. So they did an experiment. They recorded a bunch of voices uh, from different genders, so male and female. They recorded a bunch of voices of people from different countries, so different languages, so French, German and English. Uh, they recorded people asking questions and they also recorded people uh, just saying declarations. And the question was, what can people do with these messages when they're played backwards? So what exactly does a backwards message sound like and what can people pick up? So they found there were a couple of things that people could do with backwards messages and a couple of things that they couldn't do. The things that they could do with backwards messages was tell the difference between gender, whether it was a male or a female speaker talking. They could also tell the difference between uh, different languages, so whether somebody was speaking German or English, and they could also, so when there was two males speaking uh, backwards, they could tell the difference between speaker A and speaker B. There was also a couple of things that they couldn't do well. So you might be able to think, you may think that participants would tell the difference between a question and a declaration because a question sort of ends with an inflection, but they couldn't do that. Uh, they also couldn't tell the difference between a sentence that was with words in the correct order and a sentence where it was completely scrambled. But the most important thing they were trying to tap into with this experiment was sort of unconscious processing. Is there anything that people are able to pick up uh, without their awareness? So they asked uh, people to categorise these backwards sentences as either uh, Christian or satanic or even pornographic. And they found that people could not correctly classify these things. So one of the sentences played forwards was, Jesus loves me, this I know, and people couldn't correctly classify it as pornographic or Christian. So what happened with the Judas Priest trial? Well, I told you it was an awesome story, and now you've seen how John Vokey looks, you should see how it played out in court.